course, Daya Sundaram, Daya Swami Sundaram was a senior professor of psychiatry at the Faculty of Medicine, University of Jaffna, and consultant psychiatrist working in northern Sri Lanka for over a decade. Currently, he's consultant psychiatrist at Glenside Hospital, South Australia, from 2006, and visits the Southeast Health Community Services at Mount Gambia, Millicent, Rob and Pangula Aboriginal Health Centre on a regular basis. He also visits the supporting survivors of torture and trauma in Adelaide weekly to treat refugees and asylum staff, asylum seekers, sorry. He's the clinical associate professor at the University of Adelaide. He has also worked in Cambodia for two, two years in a community mental health program with the Transcultural Psychosocial Organization. Apart from teaching and training a variety of health staff and community level workers, he has been directly involved in teaching medical students, training registrars in psychiatry for their postgraduate work and supervising PhD and master's candidates. His research and publications have covered many areas of psychiatry, but more recently concentrated on psychological consequences and treatment disasters. He was put in charge of the mental health response to the 2004 Asian tsunami in northern Sri Lanka and was for long periods the sole psychiatrist working in the war hit northern Sri Lanka. His books are well known. The first book was called Scarred Minds and it had a sequel called uh, Scarred Communities. These described the, the psychosocial effects of war and natural disasters of Sri Lanka. He has published widely in peer-reviewed medical and social journals, contributed chapters to scholarly books been a keynote speaker and a presenter at numerous international conferences. As a result of work at survivors of torture and trauma in Adelaide book, some significant chapter contributions to leading books edited by the President of Royal College of Psychiatrists, Dinesh Booker has been having on migrant mental health, research and cultural relaxation methods for minor Mental health disorders have produced several publications and presentations at conferences. Work on Aboriginal mental health has resulted in a paper and case study that are in the process of submission for publication. The regular reviewer for numerous international medical journals. Current research has been on community mental health and interventions as well as concept of collective trauma. He received fellowship at the Institute of International Education Scholars Rescue Fund, UN Plaza, New York, USA, in 2006 to 2008, and Commonwealth Scholarship in 1988-89 for postgraduate training in the UK. During the undergraduate study for a BA in California, he was recipient of the Ford Foundation Scholarship. After finishing the MBBS in India, he received his doctorate in medicine, which is equivalent to the PhD in Sri Lanka, from the Post Secretary Institute of Medicine, University of Colombo. He's a fellow of the Royal College of Psychiatrists, UK, Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists, and Sri Lanka College of Psychiatrists. In 2011 to 2013, he functioned as the co chair of PTSD subcommittee in the WHO working group on classification of stress-related disorders for revision of the international classification of diseases, mental and behavioral disorders to produce the guidelines for ICD-11. So I would at this point like to invite Mr. Dayatundaram to receive his uh, orators medal.
Thank mm-hmm. you.